Um, basically, let's say there's a CPG is anything you can get off the shelf at Target or Walmart. If you can get it off the shelf, it's probably a CPG. Yeah, it really is. It's consumer packaged goods, which is what most people know it as. Also FMCG, fast moving consumer goods. And like you said, it's things that you would go to a Target or a Walmart and you would buy off the shelf. It's basically manufactured products that are mass produced. And then you generally go to a store and make a purchase. They tend to be on the cheaper side. You can see things like tobacco are considered CPG. Food is CPG as well. So you've got your Nestle's and Mars of the world and Pepsi. Your potato chips are considered CPG. The world that I tend to live in is less food and more actual product. You're going to put it on your body, like potions, pills, all that kind of stuff. How do you define product market fit, PMF? So for me... I start with CPG, I always think of a problem. What is the problem? What is the consumer dealing with? What are they going through? What are they looking for from a solution? It's really similar in the software and startup world. There has to be a problem. A lot of people have to have it. And once we figure out what that problem is, the solution and the solutioning is quite different than in the software and startup world where we don't get to optimize a lot once we are at distribution. We have to do a lot more of that kind of earlier on. So although certain things like concepts and consumer feedback and iteration are happening in the development phase, once we get to market, we can't iterate like you can with software. So there's so much more work to be done on that upfront product market fit. And for me, what it means is we've identified the pain point, it's clear. We've identified the best solution. So we've put a few different solutions, if not dozens or more in front of consumers. We heard which ones they liked the most and the one that won, the one that was the number one for them that really said, hey, this solves my problem. This is the best one. It is so superior. And it is so good that they are willing to spend enough money for us to then obviously turn a profit because there's an entrepreneurial aspect here as well, right? We got to build a business around this thing. So we have the pain point, the solution, it scratches that itch and people are willing to pay for it. And once I figure that out up front, then I feel like it's a little bit de-risked and we've reached some form of product market fit. We're still not in the market, but we've de-risked when we end up getting into the market.